What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to tell you how I make my money in Legion, because I've had a lot of people, they may have tuned into my streams, they may have commented on my videos, even some whisper me in-game wondering how I make as much money, or how I have as much money as I do, because if, if you look at the top of the screen, I have just over 5 million gold, uh, which is, I mean that's a good chunk of change. Uh, the current gold cap right now is 1 copper under 10 million. That's what they changed it to in Legion. So I remember I kept getting, because gold cap before Legion was one copper under one million. I kept hitting that gold cap every time I would. I would send um, like 100k to an alt, which is why I, I have like over three mil on this tune, but five mil on all my uh, on all my tunes combined. What I do, how I make gold, is uh, auction house really. I mean, that's, that's pretty obvious honestly if you want to make gold you have to use the auction house like primarily that's that's how i make up 99 i was gonna say like 95 percent of my gold but I, I i guess i make some gold from doing world quests but i make 95 to 99 percent of my gold honestly from the auction house now what i sell in the auction house as you see right now i'm selling um old world materials now this isn't actually what i primarily sell but these do actually sell fairly well uh, the reason I have so much of these is because I was just doing a, um, like a mount guide video where I was going like back in, you'll see that at some point, or it may have already been uploaded, I'm not sure. I was going like back to, uh, like old expansions, getting mounts, doing a video of it, and, um, I got a bunch of crap. Well, this is all like Miss Pandaria stuff, and the reason these sell is because these mats are still, uh, used, at least the enchanting mats are, because Blizzard and Legion, I believe it was in Legion, yeah, Blizzard put uh, for enchanters that they could make these like tomes that could uh, give you illusions, like the transmog illusions for all the weapons in that expansion, and they use like that expansion's material, so the enchanting mats um, sell at least, but it doesn't hurt to put the other things up. What also definitely sells are the pets, which you'll see me put up um, in a minute about pets from old expansions. I'll talk about that in a minute. Now, even though I have as much gold as I do, even though I know there are going to be people in the comments uh, that say that they, they have more, which I I know that there's definitely people who have more. If you do, you can let me know in the comments below and how you make your gold. I'd be interested. But a lot of the times, like I'll still, I'll pretty much put anything on the auction house. Like I'll still put things on the auction house to give me ten gold, or well, a lot of times if it it gives me like five gold or less. Um, I just won't put it up. I don't, I mean, I don't like my time wasted. And I feel like that is just a waste of time. But for very low amounts of gold, I will still put things out on the auction house. And if you don't use the auction house a lot, which you should, um, how you do it, well, I mean, not how you do it. You should know how to put something on the auction house. Unless this is your first day playing WoW, then you can watch what I'm doing right now in this video. But uh, you just look the thing up on the auction house and you undercut the person. Um, buy a smidge. A lot of times, like before, I was a lot more lenient with it where I would undercut people by like, if I was selling something for like 300 gold, or if someone was selling something for 300 gold, I might undercut them by like 25 gold. Uh, these days I'm a lot more stingy about it where I'm a jerk and undercut them by one gold. That's just how the game works, you know, you just gotta make your dough somehow. Now I'm just finishing up putting these old world mats on the auction house, which as I said before, um, I normally don't do it unless I do end up like, because I'm a, I'm a mount collector, I might go back and pass expansions. I'm also an achievement hunter, so I might end up picking up some mats from past expansions, which I will check on the auction house. Now what you're about to see here, I have never done in this game before. It's such a super fail, so I noticed that this uh, pet, this is a Legion pet, was on the auction house for 28k. So I'm like, okay, I'll undercut them by 1k, I'll be a bit nice about it. Because 27k, you know, still pretty nice. I'll put it up for 27k. Nope, as you see there, that is 2700 gold. Let's put it up. Oh, no, no, no. I noticed I just put it up for 2700 gold. Let me cancel my auction. It was bought. And I'm just sitting there like, what the heck? <laughs> Out of my, like, I've been playing this game for over 10 years. Never done that before. Uh, yeah. So, I'm just kind of, I'm not actually mad at all about it, I'm just kind of in disbelief that someone bought it that fast, like someone was just searching on the auction house at the perfect time and they bought it. Now the reason I'm not mad is because I really didn't think it would sell for 28k at all. It's actually a kind of commonish pet, but now I'm, I'm about to sell this other one and I notice something. Well this is a, um, I think this is from AQ, I notice the dude's name that bought my pet, Auctiono. So I'm thinking like, 
Is this a bot? Did someone set up a bot to... Because I can see that, like someone setting up a bot to uh, kind of search the auction house and uh, immediately buy like uh, pets that are undercut by like hundreds of percent. Nah, I don't know, but as I said, I really don't care. So just finishing up selling my pets. Remember, if you're like a pet collector, then this is easy for you. Uh, if you go into past expansions, you know, the rating with leashes achievement, which I'm trying to get. Well, I think I just, I might have all of them, I forget. But um, you might get duplicate pets. Just sell the duplicates on the auction house. You might have duplicate pets. Just sell those duplicates on the auction house. You know, just every every little amount of gold that you can squeeze out of the auction house. Now I'm done selling my pets and my old world materials. Now I'm selling the legion materials, which are definitely going to sell. So I'm selling fish. Now I end up getting a lot of fish because I'm currently trying to level up my uh, artifact fishing bowl. It's almost max level, but uh, I get a lot of fish out of that. Now what do I usually fish up? High Mountain Salmon is what I find sells for the most. It's obviously different per uh, server, but High Mountain sand Salmon and uh, Rune Scale Koi I always find to be the second most. So I always get so many of those uh, baits for High Mountain, so I end up getting a lot of High Mountain Salmon. I didn't have that much for this video, but I've had stacks upon stacks. Uh, I'm just selling the Rune Scale Koi. Remember just to check, just check on your auction house which sells for the most and go for that if you like farming. If you don't like farming, you're probably not gonna end up getting a whole lot of gold. I'm sorry, that's just the sad truth. Um, and I'm also selling my herbs. Now I'm not selling all of my herbs because I'm an inscriptionist and I'm gonna tell you what I use with my herbs in a second. The only herb I do sell, however, is the uh, star, star Rose, Starlight Rose. Now those do sell for the second most behind the fell warts, but I have found a better use of my fell wart that I get the most money out of. Remember, do what do what takes the least amount of time that you get the most out of, if uh, that makes sense. So just selling all of my Starlight Roses. I don't like floating in auction house. So I like 92 of them. Don't sell them one at a time, please, if you have that much. Um, so I sold mine at three at a time, I think. No, that's a bit better. So. That's, uh, I think that's everything I wanted to currently sell on the auction house. Now, what I do next with my herbs. Now, what you want to do, you don't need ha to have inscription, obviously. I just have inscription. Whatever your profession is, whether it's leatherworking, whether it's blacksmithing, find what sells for the most. Uh, like, for example, what inscriptionists don't have that leatherworkers and blacksmiths do have are the legendaries that you can craft from the broken shores. Uh, those obviously sell for a lot. They, I mean, they probably aren't that too easy to get. Maybe they are. I don't know. But as you see right now, what I do with inscription is I mill all the herbs except the starlight roses, and I make these uh, amazing, amazing things called Avantis runes. Now I've made a video on these before. Uh, what Avantis runes are exactly is that they increase your vers versatility by a lot, depending on what boss you're on, and you can only use one of them a week. If that makes sense, you just, they just sell like hotcakes, honestly. At the moment, they actually aren't selling that well because Thomas Argaris is about to come out. They don't sell well right before a new raid is about to come out because no one is really going to try hard on the, on like Nighthold, at the end of Nighthold. So people are just getting ready for Thomas Argaris. Now the, the amazing thing about Thomas Argaris is that they're coming out with a rune that uh, is going to sell a lot better than these Vantus runes because the new Tom Sargeras rune is actually going to apply for every boss in Tom Sargeras. It's going to increase your versatility by a bunch for all bosses in Tom Sargeras, uh, which right now for the current rune, it's only for single bosses. So whatever your profession is, find what sells the most, what you can make easily, because I know the Nether Disruptor isn't up all the time. Uh, it's another Disruptor, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's not up all the time. So you can't always make the legendary. And now what I'm currently doing is, or well, what I was just doing is searching which Vantus runes sell for the most. I just searched the Gul'dan ones. The Gul'dan ones usually sell fairly fast because I mean, that's the last boss in Nighthold. So, and it was selling for like, I think just under 1.3K. I've seen it sold for a lot more than that. It's obviously depending on your realm. Check what sells for the most and um, sell them bad boys. If you got inscription, sell these Vantus runes. They sell very well. I know I've said that a bunch of times, but trust me, they do. So that's, re that's really it, guys. Just check you on your auction house. If, if you like farming, or actually you don't even have to like farming. No one really likes farming, let's be honest. Let's face the inevitable truth. 
no one enjoys farming, but a lot of people do farm. Because a lot of people have too much time on this game, like myself. Uh, sell everything you farm. BOEs from past raids. Sell them. BOEs from anything. Sell them for transmog. Uh, I don't have those a lot of the time, but just, if you ever get those, sell them, because they definitely sell. And, um, yeah. So, just to recap. Sell old mats if you come across some. Sell all duplicate pets if you come across some. Check your profession what sells for the most and make that item, make the most of it for the least amount, or wait, make the most of it for the most amount of gold using the least amount of resources. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Just, just use whatever method you want to find gold. These are the methods I use. If you like this video, you can leave a like and you can sub to the channel for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.